President Obama joining his predecessor, George W. Bush, in Dallas today to honor the five officers killed in the line of duty last Thursday night. KXAN's Phil Prazen is just outside the Meyerson Symphony Center in downtown Dallas, where an estimated 2,500 people attended the memorial service. And Phil, you spoke with leaders who traveled from throughout the state of Texas. Well, that's right, Robert. Anywhere from police chief Art Acevedo in Austin to the president of the United States, many left this meeting here with a recognition that there have been legitimate successes in race relations, but there's still much work to do. Too often, tragedies are the only things bringing leaders together. President Barack Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, getting off the plane with Texas Senator Ted Cruz and meeting John Cornyn at the Symphony Center. But Dallas, I'm here to say we must reject such despair. The hall could fit 2,000 people. Among them were leaders who have the power to make change happen. Use this as momentum in order to foster change within our community. Texas Senator Royce West spoke to us just outside. And listen to some of the things that we're talking about here, then we should be able to make certain we don't pass this on to another generation. And former U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison, only a few feet away. I think it could be a beginning of a change because I thought the president's tone uh, was the best I've seen. Um, he acknowledged the greatness of our Dallas Police Department and the unity of the mayor and the police chief together. Well, Robert, only time will tell if these five deaths will lead to more unity. This all in the background of the 2016 presidential election where our leaders sometimes are encouraged to be divisive, but we will check in with them in the weeks and month ahead. Back to you, Robert. Phil Prazen live in Dallas, thanks. Well, sadly, we know that the Dallas police officers will not be the last Texas peace officers to be killed in the line of duty. That's why the largest police organization in the state wants to double the death benefits paid out to families of the fallen officers. The state doubled those benefits just last year from 250000 to a half million dollars, making it the highest amount in the country. The combined law enforcement agency of Texas says Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick already has made a verbal agreement to try to double that amount to $1 million.